to my channel, uh, Bet. I'm an Irish makeup artist and this is my first ever video, so nervy, but I'm excited too. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to start YouTube for so long now. Any questions, any requests, please leave them below in the comments. And if you want to follow me on my social media, I will leave them there too. If you want to stay tuned and watch me do this look, just keep on watching. Starting off by taking Inglot under eye concealer in shade 91 and applying it all over my lid and under my lower lash line using a flat concealer brush. This will act as a primer for my eyeshadow and also colour correct any blue tones on my lid. Taking my 4SS blending brush to blend concealer and once I have it nice and blended I'm taking my cream eyeshadow to set the concealer in place and making sure it's nice and dry. Now taking one of my favourite shades, Inglot number 368 is my transition colour and I'm literally going to sweep the colour through my crease with my 6SS blending brush. Now taking the first colour of my look, number 303 from the Inglot Water Spice collection and again I'm literally just blending that through my crease with the same 6SS blending brush. I'm going to soften my blend a little bit then with my 4SS brush, just literally sweeping that along the edge of them two colours so it's nice and blended into the green eyeshadow. I'm now taking my taper brush, which is my 10S, and I'm using it with shade 301, again from Inglot's Water Spice eyeshadows. I'm using this brush to really pack the colour on the outer corner of my eye and up slightly into my crease, making sure to keep this primary colour lower than my transitioning shades that are already in the crease. taking my 6SS blending brush to lightly blend the cranberry shade to take away any harsh lines and to make sure my colours have a nice even blend. I'm now taking shade 303 on my 6SS brush under my lash line to start smoking out the colour underneath. I personally like a really blown out smoky eye so I'm placing this colour quite low. I'm now taking my 10S taper brush again with shade 301 and packing the colour underneath my lower lash line. I'm making sure I bring it right out to the outer corner and making sure it's connected to the colour on top of my lid. Then I grab my 6SS to give a quick blend underneath and back up onto my lid to ensure everything's nice and blended. Liner time, I am taking the ultimate black gel liner number 77 from Inglot and I am using a 42T little angle brush as well from Inglot and um, that is one of my favourite literally going to start off my liner by drawing a straight line across my lid. You'll notice that I did keep a little gap between my liner and my lash line and then I simply go in and fill that in. This is a little trick I learned working that because it kind of stops you having like a rigid line and um, so it's kind of handy and then I'm just going to literally fill in any little gaps I find along my lash line and just make sure I think the trick with wing liner is really kind of take your time. You'll notice that I do mine in sections and that I do take my time kind of getting it nice and even across my lid. Um, I do also have my line tapered so you can see that it's nice and thin on the inner corner and then I like a nice big thick wing on the outer corner. I like to look straight ahead and draw a line straight out between my upper and lower lash line. I then go about three quarters of the way up my wing and drag my wing back in to meet the line I've drawn across my lid. Then I simply just colour in the little triangle to connect the two. I then take a little bit more gel liner in 77 and place it on my waterline using the same 42T brush from the black. Now 
now I'm going to sharpen my wing using Duraline, which is my favourite product, and a flat concealer brush. So I take a small amount of Duraline on my 22T and drag my brush along the very edge of my wing, which will extend my wing, giving it a slight fade and also make it nice and sharp. Time to add some glitter, so I'm going to go in with some 54 Body Sparkles from Ingla and I'm going to use my 12S lip brush to apply it. I'm going to start by taking a small amount of Dura Line on my brush and I'm literally just placing it on the inner corner of my eye and up onto my lid where I want the glitter to sit basically. Using the same brush I'm now just pressing the glitter over the Dura Line making sure to leave no gaps. taking my 10s brush again with some 301 eyeshadow and adding some depth into the outer corner and up into my crease. Then I'm just grabbing my 6SS again, no product, and blending over my crease to take away any harshness. I'm taking number 63 eyeshadow which is a matte black and I'm using my 11s brush just to smoke out my lower lash line. using my 4SS brush to apply some HD foundation. I personally like starting along my jawline and to work up my face, really working the product into the skin. You'll notice I leave a little gap beneath my eyes, that's because I don't like foundation here, I prefer just using an under eye concealer. I'm now applying some under eye concealer in a triangular shape beneath my eyes and blending the product using the same 4SS brush. I also apply whatever is left of my brush to the centre of my nose and up onto my forehead. Now setting everywhere that I've placed the concealer using 503 sculpting powder and a dry 4SS. Now setting the rest of my foundation with 66 pressed powder and my 15 BJS. I'm using the brush on its side and really pressing the powder into the skin to give me a good coverage and to make sure I'm not moving any foundation. Now to contour my face, I'm using 507 Skull Powder with my 15 BJS. I like to start with the product back in my hairline and to work it underneath my cheekbone to really carve them out. I then work the product up into my hairline and onto my hairline on my forehead. some blush and I'm using my 15 BJF again but this time I'm using the top of the brush. I'm placing most of the colour on the apple of my cheek and then working it back into the contour and up onto my forehead just to add a nice bit of warmth to my skin. I'm now using Inglot Sparkle Dust 07 with my 4SS to highlight. This was a new product brought out in the Star New Collection and it's one of my favourite highlighters. Personally I like quite a strong highlight so I do apply a good bit of product. I start by placing my brush on the highest point of my cheekbone and work it up into my temple and then I also like to highlight the tip of my nose um, just above my cupid's bow. draw my lips so I line them slightly bigger than they are naturally with my lip pencil and then colour in the outer corners to contour my lips. I'm now going to apply my lip tint all over my lips making sure that it has a nice blend into the lip crayon and then I'm going to apply my lip paint over to give a nice glossy finish. And there we have it, that's my finished look for today doing a cranberry smoky eye. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful.